You want to support Roller Martin Unfiltered? Be sure to join our Bring the Funk fan club. Every dollar that you give to us supports our daily digital show. There's only one daily digital show out here that keeps it black and keep it real. as Roller Martin Unfiltered by going to RollerMartinUnfiltered.com. You can make this possible. Uh, I wasn't going to talk about this because I really don't give a damn about a lot of this silly stuff that happens on social media. I don't care about gossip. I don't care about entertainment. But I needed to deal with this. Okay, so how many of y'all have seen people talking about uh, this ridiculous image of uh, Beyonce and Jay-Z sitting courtside at the, at the game three the other night and the wife of one of the Warriors owners leans over uh, and she's talking to Jay-Z? Okay, this thing has gotten all crazy. It, I mean, it's blown up. Well, today, Beyonce's publishers had to release a statement condemning the people attacking this woman. This woman got death threats because of this whole deal. Telling the beehive, yo, <laughs> shut the hell up and calm down. But this is what bothers me the most about this, okay? Because I really don't give a damn about these stories. I really don't. I think they're stupid. I think people who engage in them are stupid. Yes, I think you're stupid. You're sitting your ass at home. You know nothing about the conversation taking place between Jay-Z, Beyonce, the wife, and the husband. You know nothing. Yet you are sitting at home assuming you know what she's talking to Jay-Z and Beyonce about. The woman says, I was asking them, what do y'all want to drink? Now let me, again, unpack it. He's the owner. She's the wife. Their guests. Their guest of them. So don't you think that if we're at a game and Rashawn or Dr. Carter or Cleo were sitting next to me, and let's say I was talking to Dr. Carter and Rashawn is sitting right here and it's loud as hell, I'm probably going to lean over to say something. But no, <laughs> all of these people are losing them. And that's right. That's right. Give him the girl. Give her the side eye. She talking to your man. <laughs> this is stupid. This woman is in tears. She has deleted her Instagram account because she's been attacked and getting death threats and people trashing her. And why, why do I keep saying her? Because I'm not going to say her name. Because her name is not important. Her husband's name is not important. But at some point, I need people to shut the hell up <laughs> and get on with their own damn lives and stop being so fixated over dumb shit. <laughs> and that's what this is. This is stupid. Absolutely stupid. In fact, there's been more conversation about the side I lean over than what happened on the other side of the court. Mm -hmm. There you go. Mm -hmm. When one of the Warriors owners, who's worth $2.4 billion, pushes Kyle Lowry mm -hmm. when he fell into the crowd. That owner, suspended by the NBA for a year, can't attend any NBA games, fined $500,000. According to some reports, he's likely going to have to sell his shares in the team mm -hmm. because he shouldn't have put his hand on a ball player. Mm -hmm. When you're sitting courtside, you don't put your hands on it. But my problem is that we, as a society, are caught up in bullshit. The people who are, the, the amount of time, and I know somebody is sitting here saying, well, you're spending time on this. Yes, to tell y'all, shut the hell up. Stop wasting, st it's dumb. Death threats? Because she leaned the hell over to talk to Jay-Z. Really? <laughs> really? What? Okay, I knew nothing about this incident at all. Somehow it got past my radar. But are you telling me that people in the so-called beehive saw a woman talking to Jay-Z and got mad and made some projections on what she might have been saying to Jay-Z and started a viral conversation about 
from from the beehivers. That the call you want to take this one? Is that what happened? In a nutshell, I mean, I not I'm, as a I'm, figure of speech. I mean, <laughs> I'm, I'm like you. I didn't understand what I didn't I, know. that people saw in an exchange between grown people at a basketball game. Grown people. But these are the beehivers. That's what I want to make. These yeah, are the beehivers. Says, these are well, extreme fans. Well, come on fans. now. Be beehivers are. And there are people who I come know. On now. Oh goodness. People who are smart, educated. <laughs> Who got their ass caught up in this stupid ass story as well? I'm a fan, but that's that woman's husband. Let her worry about that conversation. Like, what does this yeah. have to do with me? But, but here's the deal. <laughs> here's what gets me. Didn't the same Beyonce do a song talking about Becky with the good hair? And didn't he turn around and do a song talking about him being with Becky with the good hair? Really? And, and y'all caught up? <laughs> Look, they're trying to figure out what was being said on the sideline by four rich people. I was saying, these people are still married, so whatever problems they've had, they've monetized those and worked it out, and he's a billionaire, and she's wearing $10,000 worth yeah, of clothes. See, again, I can't be bothered by what's happening in their irrational life. irrational about the <laughs> irrational. Yeah. I mean, again. I think that's what's key. Like, like, there are two things that popped out to me. First, that we pay more attention to this particular situation than we did what happened to Kyle Lowry. Oh, hold on. Let, me, let, right? let, me, no, let me be real clear. I'm going to show you. First of all, this is, y'all, this the photo. <laughs> this is from the NBC News website. Y'all, this the photo. Mm -hmm. I think it might be another one. Um, this is what, now, we probably going to get flagged. Uh, if, we get, <laughs> if we get flagged by this, this, but I'm playing this from Twitter. Y'all, this the conversation. They were like, oh, she was all leaning in her space. Why is she leaning in her space talking to Jay-Z? Look at the side eye she gave her. Y'all, that looks changed. That's what caused these people to lose their damn mind. Beyonce looks like that all the time. I mean, like, it's, it's not, it wasn't, I mean, that particular reaction is interesting to me. But, I think but, it speaks to relationship trust issues no, but it's, that people it, no, have. No, but it's stupid people. Yeah. It's stupid yeah. people who, but see, this is, this is the thing, because I'm taking this thing even larger. Because what happens is something happens, and it's the image. Oh, look how he looked at her. You have no idea right. what was going through that person's mind mm -hmm. when that happened. You, there's no audio, nothing. But for people to go <laughs> on this woman's Instagram page mm -hmm. and literally dog her, trash her, mm -hmm. cuss her out to the point where she had to delete the account. One one person talked to her said the woman was in tears. Mm -hmm. Because this thing has gone all over the place. And what I'm just trying to say is, I just need people mm -hmm. to grow the hell up. And see, the reason, the, reason, the reason I'm saying how we value what's important, right now, right now on our um, YouTube channel, 388 watching. So let me go over here to the Facebook channel. Because I'm about to make a point right here. It's uh, 181 on the Facebook page right now. And then I'm going to go over to the Periscope channel. Uh, feed right now, and we got a uh, hundred and a hundred and two. Uh, but I got about sixty there. I guarantee you. I guarantee you that if I put in the line, mm -hmm. we are discussing yep. uh, Beyonce sideline gate. Yep. <laughs> yep. Numbers would have exploded. Absolutely. Because people care about stupid stuff, and this is stupid. Mm -hmm. And I need people to learn to stop getting sucked into stupid stuff. That's why, just so y'all know, okay, y'all ain't never seen on this show me talking about so-and-so just broke up. Because I don't give a damn who you dating. So-and-so just got engaged. Okay, great. I don't care. But are you in the beehive? I ain't talking about the beehive. I'm broad in this thing. <laughs> Right. I'm brought this thing. Beehive people are obsessed, and they don't want they don't want her garment to be soiled. It's the same as the Mariah. I, I, I just said my Mariah Carey one night. All her folks lost their mind. I'm like, all oh, y'all go to hell too. <laughs> I told them on Twitter. And I, <laughs> no, oh, look, here's the I'm telling. You, I don't care if y'all come. If you gay and you come out, <laughs> that's your business. If you have a baby, <laughs> that's your business. Wasting valuable time on petty, insignificant personal stuff. If you want to watch E! News, you want to watch the rest of those shows for it, go right ahead. But literally, the amount of stuff that exists, 
I can't even put all the stuff in a show mm -hmm. that I want to put in a show mm -hmm. because of the amount of time. Right. And I'm just saying, if you a mama or uncle or aunt or you a daddy or you, if, if you got a family member call me that, you say, yo ass stupid for wasting all this damn time on that. And and somebody got to go ahead. Somebody got to just say it. Right. And also, the time that they spent retweeting and tweeting yeah. about the story, they could have supported Samaria Rice. It's Beyonce. Right? And they could have filled out a, a, a petition. That oh, hold up. Or made hold up. Call. But even if you ain't want us to do all that, just shut the hell up. Well, that's that, also that, free. I, mean, I, I, like, I, <laughs> I literally can't imagine going to the Instagram feed of somebody. Right. Some stranger. Some stranger and say, and cussing them out. And I hope you die and all this other nonsense. Cussing a stranger out. Mm -hmm who invited them to the Over game. Over people you don't know. Because Beyonce and Jay-Z ain't season ticket holders of the Warriors. But you They were invited <laughs> by the two people who was talking to them. Let me let y'all know something right now. <laughs> Roland got some, ro my, Roland got some court side seats. And I invite Beyonce and Jay-Z, y'all kiss my ass. I'ma talk to them, okay? <laughs> yeah. I'ma lean the hell over, we gonna talk to them. I don't give a damn what none of y'all gotta say. But it's childish <laughs> and petty. <laughs> Well, clearly, I, I, I'm sorry. I just, I, I, I really, I said I was not going to discuss it. But I need, I, no, no, no. But I need to discuss that because sometimes we need to tell our own people, stop doing stupid stuff. Mm -hmm. And this to me is stupid. All right, folks, back to our Roland Mark Unfiltered video in just one moment. Hey, folks, they're back. MarijuanaStock.org has another great investment opportunity. If you were lucky enough to invest in their last crowdfunding campaign, you know they raised a lot of money in just a few months investing in legal marijuana farms. Those initial investors now own shares of a publicly traded company. They're on fire. And certainly a lot of you missed it. Now you have an opportunity. Now they have a new investment opportunity that is as good, if not even better, than the last. I'm talking about industrial hemp CBD. For those who don't know, the hemp plant is the cousin to marijuana with a much higher concentration of CBD, which means hemp CBD gives you all the medical benefits of marijuana without getting you high. Until recently, hemp farming was practically illegal in the U.S. and heavily regulated by the DEA. However, the 2018 Farm Bill changed all of that. Congress made it legal to grow hemp CBD in the U.S. and creating one of the largest commodities worldwide. They need land to grow all of the plants, and this makes for an incredible investment opportunity. And that's where our good friends at 420 Real Estate come in. Their business model is simple. They buy land that supports hemp CBD grow operations and lease it to licensed high paying tenants. That's right, they are hemp CBD landlords. And you can get in on the action. You can invest in this crowdfunding campaign for as little as 200 bucks up to $10,000. Like I said, you don't wanna miss out. To, do, to invest, go to marijuanastock.org. That's marijuanastock.org. Get in the game and do it now. I'm back to your Roland Martin Unfiltered video.